Take a modern credit card with every modern security aspect. It's got chip and pin, it's also got contactless. Is it secure? James Lyon from Sophos, you're gonna show me it's not quite as secure as I might think. Take it away. Indeed, a lot of people would think these are perfectly secure. However, uh, these have to be backwards compatible with a lot of countries that don't support all this new fancy stuff. So we're gonna create a very quick clone of your credit card. This device here costs about 150 pounds and I purchased it on Amazon. So not from a dodgy criminal gang. I'm gonna swipe this through here, which as you'll see on the screen, reads all of the data. That's your credit card number, your name, your expiration date, everything that I need to do a transaction in a country like the US. How come my card has ended up in a machine like that though? I don't, uh, I don't do that. Yeah, so there's a few ways it might happen. Firstly, of course, a retailer who's purposely engaging these activities could have one of these devices off to the side and sneakily swipe it. But this is a rather large model. They actually come in a tiny form factor where they can be put in front of ATM devices or even pre-built into a point of sale system at a retailer, sometimes even before it arrives at the store. That's what's been happening a lot through 2014 in some of these big data breaches. So you've got my data, what happens next? This is going to become your credit card. So let's wipe this blank card through. Um, one of my favorites is to write it onto a hotel key card or something like that, because they get really confused when you try and pay with it. Um, so that says that it worked. Let's just validate it here. Swipe, and you can see this now has exactly the same information as your credit card either of them would work. Yeah, but when I pay for anything with my credit card, I'm also asked to put it, certainly online, I'm asked to put in a security number, a three number security. So you've got the three digit security code if you want to do an online transaction. What cyber criminals will do with a card like this is they'll go and use a payment gateway in a country that doesn't have access to any of those records. It's not using the chip and pin. Um, they'll put that through and most banks will accept it. When you go to the US, you swipe your card, you sign, and you move on. Of course, online fraud is an entirely different category, and there are lots of opportunities for attackers there as well. But this is still a very tried and tested technique for the criminals. So be aware, your card may not be quite as secure as you think.